Hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick assessment of Bitcoin going into the halving. I know we just had the EETF news, so that's great. We're just going to look at the previous two bull runs just to get an idea of when we can expect things to start moving. So I've marked everything up on the charts. I'm going to dive right into it and start with the 2016 halving and we're on the weekly time frame for Bitcoin. So I've noticed and you'll see when we look at the, the other bull run we've just had and then even going into the halving we're happening now you can see that before and after the halving there's one opportunity on other side of it to i would say as a last buying opportunity before the bull run really starts so back in 2016 we had this one pullback and that was 161 days before the halving and then after the halving you had what i would say is the last proper pullback to load up before things started gearing i mean you probably could have you know also loaded up on these pullbacks here but you want to be in well before that you want to have your bags full ready to go and then you have like a six month period from the halving where i'm sure if you zoom in you know there is price movement in there but nothing compared to the explosion like when things start to really widen like the price starts to really open up a bit um it's about six months after the halving where you've got this let's just call it pain the pain of waiting for something to happen right and then from that moment from that six month period of waiting to the top with the explosion it's about one year so that's how we had it back in 2016. We'll move to this one that we've just had now. So you can see before the halving, 70 days before the halving, we had the pullback. This didn't come off of a wave that was overbought, but that doesn't matter. We had the pullback, we had the halving, and then post the halving, we had this weird little tiny pullback and then the larger pullback. So 55 days and 130 days after the halving. And again we had this period of i'm sure a little bit of activity was happening there but nothing compared to this point onwards and that was also so five months of this five six months of this post halving um i've got xrp there because i was actually trading xrp right then at that moment when like the massive pump was starting the bull run was starting um and that was before the sec debacle with xrp um i was trading that i remember it very clearly going into it and then also from this moment of like sideways it's not really sideways but you know compared to this uh, from that moment of post halving up until the tippy top it was also one year so whereas this previous one only had the single top i know this one had like the double top the divergence reversal but we're just going to count this you know as the top it was just split into a regular divergence before it came back down that's fine and here we are today so this is how things are looking i've marked up a massive hidden bearish divergence somebody in the discord pointed it out to me so shout out to joanne thanks for pointing this out to me um we had marked up other divergences as well so we are 84 days before halving approximately if the halving is to take place at some time in April. I don't know exactly what day in April it's going to fall on, if it does fall in April, but let's just say that we, you know, are about anywhere between two or three months away now from the halving. I'm expecting to get a pullback on the weekly. We're going to break down from this overbought area. Maybe this hidden bearish divergence plays out a little bit. Aaron from the TPMN channel has said to me, it's probably going to pull back more or less into like this type of area let me just get this right i don't want to lie to you we don't know for certain all right nothing's nothing's going to be guaranteed ever with ta um but that usually the second pullback is not as deep as the first one and then you've got that you know annoying sideways situation and then it goes so one pullback before one pullback after if history is anything to go by of course I mean, things can change. They can always be different. Post halving, you've got about five or six months of not as explosive price action. So it's going to be about it's going to be about September or one month either side of September. But I think September, October really will be the start of this. You know, where this area starts to really tick up um, is when I think the bull run's going to start, just based on previous measurements of history. And yeah, that's how we have it. This level for the pullbacks. Again, nothing's perfect, but we'll just give a range well, let's just say between 30 and 32,000 for this hidden bearish divergence to play out whether it's the first pullback or the second pullback but the first pullback is usually deeper um again based on history so between 30 or 32,000 and Aaron's looking to load in on the first pullback he's gonna 
carry on stacking on that one and then we're just going to wait so i'll scrunch my screen try and fit them all in together so you can see the full weekly picture of everything that's how it'd be looking um yeah you can see how this one pulled back to if we are looking at that level equivalent from this one's pullback to hit that you know back there it did so we'll see it's going to take a while like i said it's going to be about two or three months waiting for whatever's going to happen here to happen anyway but um when it does we want to be ready so for us we want to get in before the halving one more time i'll just show you what that looks like maybe on a, a daily time frame i'll just scrunch my screen if you're interested in that pullback before the halving and the, the pullback post the halving we'll just go back to 2016 and see what that looks like on the daily time frame so that was the box so the daily is grazing or hitting oversold and again on the second one hitting oversold 2021 also daily hitting oversold the first one didn't reach it bit of a shallow one second one did reach it perfect so and i think that is coming in soon yeah so we want the daily to basically be oversold maybe even make a divergence price will maybe make a divergence to hit into here and then go into the halving and whatever it's going to do post halving sideways pain and then bull run september october so that's what we're thinking anyway guys at tp mint um let me know what you think in the comments if you're still waiting to load up if you've already got your bags and if you're focusing on old coins um i'd love to hear which ones you guys have chosen for the bull run thanks guys